Hello, hello guys, Kaiser here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm in the Friesland, a very uh, famous uh, ship in World of Warships Legends. You either love it or you hate it. And um, I'm in the, the map uh, Sleeping Giant. I'm in a division with the USS Black, and it's a domination game mode. All right, let's quickly take a look at the teams we're facing there. We're Akatsuki, Z23, and Lightning. That's all we've got to worry about. And then, of course, it's a Saipan. So uh, we've got uh, Pobeda, I believe, and then uh, it's um, a carrier match. So, yeah, unfortunately... Um, it's a carrier match, but luckily I'm in the Friesland, so I don't worry about carriers. <laughs> uh, before we get into this match, I'd also like really like to review the commander and modules I'm using. I'm using Jersey Swirsky, inspired by Bay and Sims, to get the consumer down as low as possible and also buff up the health for destroyer fights. So I'm above 20,000 health now in the uh, the Friesland, thanks to the William Sims, the uh, inspiration he has that increases your HP per tier. All right, so modules, I'm running AA in the first slot, AA range, I believe. And then I'm running uh, propulsion, I'm running um, consumment in the third slot, and then I'm running AA again in the fourth slot. So this is a pure AA build. Um, I'm also in the first slot for um, Swirsky. I'm also running um, no fly zone instead of... Uh, the, uh, the the gunboat um, the gunboat skill I believe it's observant rage if I'm not mistaken so uh, yeah I'm running uh, AA as much as I can on the freezer here with uh, as high D AA DPM as I can possibly get all right yeah so the carriage just flew slightly close to us to go and uh, bomb the battleships at the back of the map there and um, we already shot down two of his planes there so uh, very nice. Uh, we do got to worry about the Kronstadt though, he's got 11.7 km radar, so we got to be careful here. And um, we don't want to be um, overextending our uh, ourselves here, so uh, we see the the, um, the turpits over there, we take aim at him, we're behind island cover. And uh, we know one destroyer is already in Bravo, so um, now we're just using this island to protect us from the uh, the turpits. So we don't have line of sight on him and he on us, so... Um, now we can just uh, focus properly and uh, see what we can uh, what we can do here. Unfortunately, we already lose our Iowa. That's not great. Um, it pushed in way too far all alone, and uh, yeah, it was broadside to the enemy team, to the Iowa and the Kronstadt, and he got punished for it. Right. So yeah, this Turpitz is um, not on fire from us, unfortunately, but uh, we will continue to uh, pester him here. Just need to make sure that we don't have a uh, line of sight on him, so he can't spot us when we fire our guns. And then we open fire on him, and uh, he, is at our, he is at our max range, and he is turning slightly, so we are uh, anticip um, trying to uh, anticipate for that. But we do get plane spotted now by the uh, the Saipan, and then our AA starts going off like crazy, and um, we shoot down one plane. So we're on three planes already, and uh, his squadron, I think he sent his squadron back, or his squadron got shot down by the uh, ship that's next to me. So here we open fire on the Kronstadt. Why not? Um, hopefully we get a lucky fire, who knows? Maybe use his damage con to dodge those torps or something. You never know. You um, can always try and get a perma fire wherever possible in the Friesland. It's all about cycling your guns and um, knowing when to you enter fire your guns, when you're spotted and when you're not spotted. So we could have taken here shots at the, the, the lightning there, but unfortunately it disappears as soon as I slow down to uh, get myself into a nice position for uh, cover. It disappears unfortunately, but that's okay. We don't have to worry about him too much. Okay, so we see the Kronstadt is over there. He's still got um, radar, I believe. We're in his radar range, 11.7. So yeah, he's with. We're well within his radar range. So um, if he pops his radar now, the Turpus and the Musashi could possibly shoot us. And um, now we want to be very careful here as we get into the cap here. We get into the cap, and we presume that the, we're looking at the mini map there. We're keeping an eye on the carrier squadrons. We don't want to get bombed here. And now we drop our smoke screen because we know he's coming straight after us. And then we instantly full stop, so we don't uh, accelerate any further than what we were, so we don't get the carrier to uh, focus on us, um, like predict our movement pattern that we had the last time he saw us. Luckily we got a fire on the turpets there, that's very very nice. And um, as you guys can see, me not, me not running the aiming systems mod 1 in the first slot gets some really wonky dispersion with the shells landing on sides of the ship there. So that's one drawback of running an AA build, but I, I believe in the freeze and um, you pump out so many shells that missing a few here and a few there. That is not that big a deal. And also, I'm not aiming properly here, so you guys can see why I'm missing most of my shells. Um, I'm not very used to playing the Friesland, I will admit that much. Um, I'm not a big destroyer player. If you guys have been longer, hanging out uh, long enough on the channel here, you guys will know I don't I rarely post destroyer videos. Um, I'm not a big destroyer player, and um, yeah, this is one of my uh, 
first matches in the freeze and i have i had it i picked it up as a campaign ship back in the day when it was a campaign ship but i rarely played it so um i'm only really recently getting into my aa uh, aa um, destroyers like the ostergotland and the the friesland here or the friesland um friesland as uh, some people would call it uh, luckily our tippets goes uh, the enemy tippets goes down there thanks to our cargo thank you very much for that and uh, now we can uh, we picked up this ca this cap solo so now we can uh, start pushing out and my division mate said he was going to go into Bravo and go and find out the uh, what destroyer that was that was last spotted there. If you look on the minimap there, it's lightning. Um, so we know we uh, need to be careful here. We don't want to be... Um, oh, sorry, my division mate needs to be careful here that he doesn't get fried by the, the Kronstadt and the battleship that's uh, there on uh, on A. But we're taking aim at the lightning there. But luckily our Friedrich the Grosser battleship shoots at the destroyer. So thank you very much for that. Um... I really appreciate it when the battleship players actually take the time and use their reload to shoot a destroyer. It's really it's beneficial to us destroyer players. Um, if you guys play a lot of destroyers, you guys will also know what I'm talking about when uh, when you need some help in a gunfight and uh, the uh, battleships help chime in to re um, give you the advantage over the other destroyer. So that's always appreciated. All right, so here we're just pumping out shells on the Republic. We're not spotted by anything. Maybe the planes will come back from the carrier. We've already shot down seven of his uh, planes from, uh, from the Saipan. So now we see this Republic is getting some serious damage, but um, we're just trying to get... Uh, he put out our fire, so we're trying to get a new Puma fire on him, but I believe he's going to eat a lot of torpedoes there, and that should be the end of the Republic, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay, never mind. It was uh, carrier torpedoes, I believe. So he didn't, uh, didn't get into... Um, too much uh, problems there perhaps he had a flooding who knows but uh yeah so the carrier is uh focusing behind us so we shoot down two three planes already and uh, we do manage to set another perma fire on the republic so that he's going to burn for a while there so that'll increase our damage and uh, it starts ticking up here so very important to note um in this match i'm not chasing damage guys um i'm trying to do my job spotting capping and hunting down the other destroyers Luckily for me, the destroyers didn't come to Delta, so I didn't have too much of a problem. But uh, as you guys can see, that the Z-23 is uh, engaging with my division mate, and the U.S. is black now. So um, my division mate needs to be very careful that he doesn't get uh, absolutely shredded to pieces by the uh, other ships, especially that battleship over there that's going to help the Z-23 out and potentially do some damage to my uh, division mate. As you guys can see, the incoming fire. And there goes my division mate, the Iowa got him. So, uh, yeah. It just shows you the power of uh, support ships. Um, if you're ever playing and uh, you see um, support ships uh, shooting at you, be very careful. You don't want, you always want to be closer to your support ships than uh, the enemy um, enemy is to theirs. Because the closer you are to their support ships, the much higher chance there is of that support ships actually deciding to take the time and uh, shoot at you. And then you could potentially use uh, lose a lot of hit points. And yeah, it could go down uh, south pretty quickly for you. But luckily, we managed to long range gun this uh, Z23 down, and uh, we, uh, my division mate, got him with one final torpedo at the end that got him really low, and we just managed to um, finish him off there. Very nice. All right, so yeah, we're not chasing damage here when um, we're playing the game uh, as it uh, as a destroyer is supposed to be. Uh, capping and uh, contesting caps, and what I'm doing now is I'm gonna go into Bravo here, get the cap. And then I'll potentially push into Alpha to try and uh, contest whatever destroyer that is that's left. I believe it's the Akatsuki, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes, the Akatsuki and the Iowa are in the division. Failed division, but luckily they didn't get punished. So uh, yeah, there's the Akatsuki. And um, now we know where he is, so we don't have to worry about him too much. Luckily our carriers are uh, keeping him spotted, so we've got a good idea of where he's heading. It looks like he's turning out from the carrier. The carrier's trying to drop some bombs on him. Oh, very nice hit there on the Akatsuki. Really nice hit there by the carrier. Kudos to our um, Kaga. Big opponent wasn't a Pobeda, it was a Kaga. A very good Kaga player on our team. And um, yeah, he managed to absolutely smack that Akatsuki to pieces. Alright, so here I notice I'm 25 seconds away from capping, so I'm slowly creeping forward. I could drop a smoke here and just start farming the Iowa, but um, I would rather get the cap and then push straight into Alpha. But um, I know that I looked at the minimap and I saw there was a cruiser on the outside of Alpha, so I have no idea where that cruiser is currently. So I'd much rather just uh, take the time, shoot some shots at the Iowa, kill, get some of his AA down, to, you know, incapacitate these AA guns, and then uh, potentially start a few fires. All right, so we get the solo cap, another one, and uh, now we're trying to uh, set some fires in the Iowa here. 
There is a very nice um, fire that we got on the Iowa. I believe it puts it out. No, he's letting it burn. Okay. One important thing to note, guys, when you're playing a destroyer like this that has a very quick reload and you're in a smoke screen, um, always always be moving. Um, oh, we get red out there. That's really bad. Um, always be moving. You don't want to be standing still because some battleship players and cruiser players will blind fire you if you stand still and they see that the fires are coming there. The, um, the shells, the shots are coming from uh, one specific location in the smoke screen, so they'll uh, um, shoot at you. Oh, it was a crawling shot that radared us, so we don't have to worry too much about him. His radar is up now, so it's only short duration radar than the crawling shot, so not too too bad of a, a worry there. But we did lose a lot of our hit points there from the carrier that torpedoed us with two torps there. But yeah, also a tip for you guys. I uh, hope you guys find it useful. Uh, maybe you guys knew already about it. If you didn't, I hope it helps you... Um, Always stay moving in your smoke screen. Go forwards, backwards, sideways. And if you have sonar, please use your sonar while you're in a smoke screen. It attracts torpedoes like no nothing else on the on the on the map. And um, so yeah, the enemy Saipan is really focusing us down now. And um, we've shot down 12 of his planes already, but we know he's coming after us. And luckily, my carrier player drops a fighter right above me. So I really appreciate that. Um, you don't see that very often. Carrier players dropping fighters above you. Um, that's really, really huge, and I uh, really appreciate that. So thank you to the carrier player. If he, by some miracle, um, watches this game, I really appreciate the effort you put in. Okay, so uh, now we just got to worry about uh, the Saipan, and that's basically it. We do have one sonar charge available, and um, we will be... Uh, well, we won't be using that anytime soon, because we already use our smoke screens, and um, yeah, we, there's no destroyer to worry about, so there's no use for our sonar quite yet. Um, we could pop it uh, earlier on if we really wanted to, but uh, it was uh, it's okay. It's always good to keep a sonar handy when uh, you're in uh, in some deep trouble here. The cargo, uh, the Saipan, unfortunately, didn't make his turn quite quite enough, and he got off a horrible angle on us there, so um, he didn't manage to drop us. And uh, the battleship south of A is so far away that we don't have to worry about him coming any closer to us. Okay, so we've shot down 16 planes already. We're hoping for a clear sky here, guys. Uh, if we can make it, hopefully the Saipan flies over us again to get to the Kronstadt or something. Another solo cap, so that's three solo caps for us so far. We're up on ship now, and we're up almost uh, four, uh, 300 and what? 300 and something points there, so... Um, we, uh, we need to be uh, vigilant that we don't uh, work too hard here for the win, and maybe potentially throw away the match. We just want to be very patient here, and uh, we see it's a Musashi that's coming back in. But there's a Saipan, and uh, we get a fire on the Musashi, so we start opening up on the Saipan. So yeah, we're just slowly chunking away at the Saipan here. Where you guys can see, we're not aiming for the top of the deck, we're aiming for the side plating. And uh, the side plating will hopefully help us get some uh, nice uh, penetrations there, and hopefully start a few fires. So the carrier is coming back towards us. And uh, with the Saipan is setting away from us, unfortunately. But hopefully we'll be able to take care of the Saipan with uh, one more squadron. If he sends it our way, we would be very appreciative of that. So we could potentially get our clear sky here with um, 19 planes shot down already. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Yeah, Saipan is out of our range. We just realized that now. And uh, now we got to quickly run around this corner. Okay, so we see the Musashi is over here. Hey, high caliber for our crone start. That's really nice. And uh, yeah, now we can just, uh, we're spotted by the uh, the carrier. We There we get our clear sky, guys. 20 planes shot down. Very, very nice. We didn't get too much focus by the carrier, so we only shot down 20 planes, but we could have been shooting down a lot more planes. But yeah, this Musashi is taking aim at us now, but luckily he's got bad dispersion, so uh, we survived and only took one hit. But that's the end of the battle, guys. I believe we won on points. Let's quickly take a look at the results that we managed to pull off uh, in this match. Alright, so we managed to end off on uh, 55,000 damage there. Three solo caps, three kills, nine fires and 21 planes shot down for a clear sky medal and a base XP of 2,797. 79 a big pardon. So yeah, a very uh, very good game in the Friesland here. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the AA build that I got on my Friesland and I hope to bring you guys some more content in the coming weeks. 
All right, guys, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will catch you in the next one. Auf Wiedersehen.